Hello everyone, Pahamar here with episode 13 of Let's Mod Reboot. In today's episode, I will show you guys the Minecraft Forge or Dictionary. So, uh, a correction from uh, my items video and the, uh, not the items video, the MPT data uh, video. Um, I said that the metadata for items was uh, maximum 16, that's incorrect. Um, the maximum metadata for blocks is 16, the maximum metadata for items is actually much higher. Uh, it's something in the neighborhood of 32,000. So there's quite a lot of room there. Um, so yeah, today, or dictionary. The or dictionary is a concept in that Minecraft Forge offers that allows uh, developers to give a um, a list of items or blocks that are considered equivalent. So even though it's called the or dictionary, it's not necessarily all about or. That was the original intent. Uh, it's much more of a equivalency uh, lookup. Um, and the predominant reason uh, that this was done was to add compatibility between mods in terms of recipes, uh, which is what we'll take a look at in the next episode. Um, so the or dictionary allows developers to say, okay, I want my block, my new tree, for example, I want its wood to be considered the same as any other wood in terms of crafting recipes, uh, which is why you have the idea of being able to cr um, take something like uh, Biomes of Plenty Wood and use it to craft a vanilla crafting bench. Um, because the developers of Biomes of Plenty, for example, have said that their wood is equivalent to normal wood. So. Let's have a look at the or dictionary class, and there's a couple concepts we're going to go over here. So that was the basic, you know, the idea of this is how you can actually say uh, one particular thing is equivalent to all these other things. It does a mapping of strings to a list of items. So for example, here we can see. Um, so this is uh, stuff that's actually done by Minecraft Forge by default, just to initialize these particular things for uh, for vanilla. Um, it initializes uh, an or dictionary entry called log wood and it adds um, the Minecraft wood log and log two. For some reason they're split into two. This wildcard value you see here is actually the maximum item damage uh, possible, sorry, the maximum metadata for an item, 32,767, which is equivalent to the max short value. It's kind of considered a special value, a wildcard value, uh, because what it means is uh, when Minecraft Forge comes across this, uh, it will know that it means match this to any any item um, for that item stack with any metadata. So for example, if I were to say, uh, here's an item stack um, with a log in it and the meta uh, value is 60. If I were to register the wild card into this, it would know that it's appropriate. Um, that's probably not the best example. Um, wild card value is really useful essentially just to wild card match anything um, that matches that particular item stack. So there's two things that the OR dictionary is really used for looking up entries and adding entries to it. Um, so here you can see it registering ORs um, and registering things to those ORs. So for example here, it's registering a gold block as a OR dictionary entry block gold. And it generally follows the standard of having the type of thing it is first, so a plank, and then what it's made of, wood, stair, wood, tree, sapling, or gold, or iron. So that's a good standard to follow. The other thing you can do is you can actually, given an item stack, um, get a list of ores. So, uh, for example, I use this an awful lot in equivalent exchange to look up what items are equivalent to each other. So, what does this mean for us? Um, and what are helpful things to do? So, um, the or dictionary really comes into its own when we deal with recipes, and like I said, we'll deal with that in the next episode. I just wanted to kind of give a really brief and hopefully accurate uh, description as to what the or dictionary is and I will probably be corrected on small minor things that I've said that are incorrect. Um, this is really all just about 
mod compatibility at the end of the day. So one of the things uh, that I find useful, um, because this is the vanilla list, uh, the stuff that Forge replaces, if you ever want to see what is inside of the list, what I like to do um, is in my post net, if I'm just debugging this, what I will do is I will have a look and see what's all registered. So let's see, get more names. So here, this simple just four line snippet of code, although really it could just be two lines or less. Um, it just iterates through all the ORs that are registered. So OR dictionary, get OR names will give you an array of all of the ORs that are registered to the OR dictionary. So here I'm just iterating through them all and I'm just logging the name. So if I were to run Minecraft here, And if we were to look in the output, you can see these are all of the entries in the OR dictionary as of the time that that was executed and posted in it. So if you are testing mod compatibility uh, locally with other mods and you wanted to see what other um, OR dictionary entries they add, you can check it here. Um, the other thing is once you actually have the or name, you can actually look up all the items that are associated with it. So if we were to do or dictionary and here we would give or name. What this does is it gives us a integer. This is the or ID. So each string actually maps to an integer, um, which is dynamic, so don't trust this all the time to be the exact same integer, so stick wood could be one at one iteration and it could be four the next. With that or ID, you can actually get a list. Oh, actually no, there's a better way now. Or dictionary get ors. So this method right here, get ORs. So given a string, it will return you a list of all the item stacks that are registered to that name. So um, if I wanted to see all the different item stacks that are registered to uh, stick wood, I would put in, and I would get a list of all the items to back, uh, item stacks back. So um, that for right now is pretty much all we need to concern ourselves with with the OR dictionary. In the next episode uh, with recipes, I will actually show you how to do your own OR dictionary compliant um, recipes, sorry, uh, as well as how to do your own vanilla recipes and etc. So uh, until next time, uh, this is Palmar closing up episode 13. We'll see you again in episode 14. Um, comments, problems, whatever, YouTube comments, tweet me, um, email me, whatever. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.